Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I'll be doing a full review on the Railgun. Many sources that contain information on the staff exclusive gun are mostly outdated, so I just want to clear up some misconceptions on this gun and update you guys with the new Railgun stats. Anyways, before I begin this video with a brief history on this gun, I just want to thank Crimson Alpha, Cretlo, Extension Cable, and Jeevan XX for helping me on this video. Without them, this video would not have been possible because I'm not a style of staff. Anyways, let's begin. The Railgun was originally added to PF as an event gun for the Star Wars Rogue One event. At this time, it was basically the product of the BFG and SVU. Having almost infinite range, absurd penetration, and it performed similar to the Dragunov SVU in terms of recoil and fire rate. Here's some footage of it firing, if you don't get what I mean. But recently, this gun has been nerfed to having 1 ammo, slower reload times, and much slower fire rate, and worse damage at CQC. Now, this gun is pretty much only effective in longer ranges, due to the damage dropping up from 50 to 100, and can only be obtained from gun game rotation, we're picking it up from the ground. On the screen, I will be showing you screenshots of the basic railgun stats, advanced stats, and what it looks like in your loadout selection screen. Feel free to pause the video and look at the pictures, or you can skip to the next section because down in the description below, I'll have a document containing all the images shown here. Here in this section, I'll be sharing with you guys some fun facts you may not know about the railgun. Number 1. It has a bullet drop. Contrary to popular beliefs, this gun actually has bullet drop as shown in this video. Number 2. It is a unique gun. The Railgun is one of the few stylist guns that are actually unique. It features an exclusive voiceover and an exclusive model. Number 3. It has a weird penetration mechanic. Despite having 100 penetration, the Railgun seems to have the same maximum penetration as the 50 BMGs when used on multiple structures. Although, this is probably just an in-game mechanic to reduce lag. So don't be confused by this, because on a normal map, it's highly unlikely for the gun to reach the penetration cap. So in short, the railgun does have 100 penetration, meaning that it may not be able to pierce through 1000 sheets of 0.1 stud glass, but it can definitely penetrate through one thick wall that's 100 studs. Number 4. It is obtainable. Although being a staff gun, you can actually obtain this gun from picking it up or getting it in the gun game rotation. And lastly, number 5. It has a weird damage mechanic. This is the only gun in the game to have its damage drop up instead of down without the help of any ammo attachments or barrel attachments. Ready to fire. Ammo deleted. Restoring. 